Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Tech Protect Faraday bag. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to take a look at this Tech Protect Faraday bag. It's sort of like a portable Faraday cage for your electronics. I picked this up at our uh, local survival gear store out here, the Outpost. Um, some of you Vegas and Pahrump people might know of the place. Um, basically what this bag does is protect your electronic items from EMP. Now everybody says, what's EMP? All right, basic terms the way I understand it. Electromagnetic pulse is a release of energy or current that's trying to find its way to ground. As it races through the atmosphere towards Earth, because the magnetic field around the Earth takes it down to it, it travels a path of least resistance to ground. Uh, electric overhead power lines, antennas, anything that attracts the current is going to get fried. Okay. Now again, there have been scientific studies on this. Some people say it's a major problem. Some people say it isn't. Um, again, this is just a way to protect yourself from it. Not a lot is known about it because we haven't really experienced it very often. Um, what was I trying to think? There was reason. There was one incident. There was a Category Five solar storm, and you know that knocked out a lot of stuff. There were also there were also there was also in the '90s a solar uh, sunspots and a solar storm that knocked out the entire paging network. If people remember pagers, so a device like this will protect you from that. Um, it comes in all different sizes. Tech Protect makes these. Um, Everything from big enough to put a laptop in to this little tiny guy here that I have for a demo. Now, a lot of people make the mistake of dropping their cell phone in these and calling it and saying, oh, it rings, this doesn't work. That's not how these work. These work on specific frequencies. There's a video on YouTube, and I'm going to try to link it, um, that shows a gentleman who takes a larger bag than this, same company, and puts a radio in one and an identical radio not in one and puts them in a microwave and nukes it for about, mm, I don't know, 30 seconds. He takes out the one that wasn't in the bag, and it's fried and still smoking. He takes out the one that's in the bag, and it's perfectly fine. It will also work on some FM, um, FM radio. I'm going to try to do a little demo here, my little shop radio here, see if I can uh, get it to uh, get in there. I was trying not to find music. I tried to find an AM talk, FM talk station. But we got a little music, but we'll see if we can just get it in there and not get in there. There. And there it goes. There's nothing. Not even static. When I pull it out, you have radio. So you see how it works. Um, it will work with some radio stuff. It will work with some stuff like that where you can kind of demo it and test it out. Um, I don't have an extra microwave nor two extra radios to destroy, so... That's pretty much what I'm doing here. Now, people will think, is this just a, a Mylar bag, okay? I can tell you right now it's not. It's much thicker. It's about seven mils thick, according to the specs. Um, from what I understand, these are two heavy metalized layers, and then it's impregnated with another coating on the outside that dissipates the electrical charge within the bag. <clears throat> the best way to explain it is if EMP waves are coming at this, they're going to hit that and be deflected or go around it. They take the path of least resistance, and this adds resistance. So if you folks want to check this out on the web, it's techprotectbag.com. If you local folks in the area want to buy any sizes of these, you can check out the Outpost, which is local to uh, Pahrump and Las Vegas. You can find them on Facebook. It's really simple to find. And that's about it for the review today. Um, I'm going to give it a few more tests, and if I find something really exciting, I'll videotape it. But all in all, you know, I'm pretty pleased with it. I, I think it'll work good. Um, you could easily fit a Baofeng radio in there or any other handheld. The bigger ones can fit your mobile ham radio units, your shortwave radios, anything like that. Heck, you could even store this in a bug out bag with your shortwave radio. And I may end up doing that with that on my larger bug out bag and just keeping my little shortwave radio in there because it's a rather expensive unit and I wouldn't want it to get it destroyed. So anyway, thanks for watching and we will talk to you soon.